into the gate of what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. You're not taking no kings down if you can't come and give it thanks. Listen, you got no power worshiping God. You ain't got no power to bring princes down. That's right. Amen. See, this this why I, this why I, I dance, I got like dance, and I shout yes, because I'm yes. into taking stuff out the atmosphere and bring them. Mm -hmm. If you spend more time complaining and fussing, you don't have the equipment to bring kings down. Jehu went to Jezreel for one purpose: to bring down the very devil that started all the trouble. Because Jezebel impacted Ahab. When Jesus Christ came out of the grave, he stripped principalities and powers. Jezebel is a prince. Ahab is a power. And this scripture shows that the apostolic mantle of Jehu is in full order. He's not apologetic. He's kind of ruthless. He goes to her house and look what it says. Look, this is so deep. Verse 31. And Jehu entered the gate. She asked, have you come in peace, Zimri? That's what she called him. You murderer of your master. Now she called him a murderer. God called him a righteous judge because I'm going to remove him. When God kills someone, it is righteous. When you kill someone and it's just a payback and you shed innocent blood, that's called murder. When God kills, it's because he's going to bring judgment. Look at this. Verse 32. He looked up at the window, look y'all, and called out, who is on my side? What kind of strategy is that? With an arrow. Jehu, you, you, you know you can shoot arrows. You can throw a rock. You can throw an axe. I'm going to come to the front window. Listen, I'm going to see this, y'all. And, and ask a loud question. Who is up there on my side? Two or three of the units. I'm calling the two willing workers. Two or three units looked down at him. And he said, throw her down. The kitchen, y'all. Mm -hmm. Jehu said, so they threw her down, and some of her blood splattered across the wall and the horses as they trampled underfoot. Now, I want you to see this. So I bring it to an end. That's a strange way to bring down a system. Throw it down. <laughs> I'm going to get in front of the building, watch it, y'all, and I'm going to yell up to Jezebel, uh, who up there works for me? Who up there has given me favor? Who up there in the government office, in the mayor's office, in the city council office, in the freeholders office, in the polish writing office, in the board of education, who up there on my side? And there is a system working against the church. Throw it over. Throw it down with so much force. Let me tell y'all something. When God puts you in the right location at the right time, you'll find people ready to work for you. Yes. Problem is, we try to ask God to come in our location. Oh. And God's sending us to his location. As I need your feet right there. I need your feet right there. I need your feet right there. So when you get there, there's people already waiting for you to show up. That's some crazy stuff. So you're waiting for God to bless you in Canaan and God trying to bless you in Egypt. Because Canaan is what you're used to. <laughs> Ooh, Gina, Gina. Oh, God, I was screaming last Monday at Nike, Delaware. Philip Collins is about to have a college campus at Nike, Delaware. How do you have a Christian college at Nike, Delaware? Because Jamie showed up. I said, no, listen. That's what the ministry is about, y'all. Mm -hmm. When you find the location, allocation comes. We broke, because we're in the wrong allocation, we're in the wrong location. Got to move us up around and put you someplace so these things will trickle down to take care of you in such a way that you're not used to. That has been my faith challenge, is to trust God in the transition of how we plan to take care of this year, or next year, or the year after. It ain't the cease, it is not the seed time of song principle like we thought all the time. God takes you to a place and make Pharaoh take care of you. That's oh crazy. Gosh, oh Pharaoh and Joseph becomes a tag team that rescued the 12 tribes that saves Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's my question there that I pray for you. Lift your hands. And I pray for my leaders that our minds and our faith is open to God empowering us in this hour. Help us not feel, Lord God, that you have circles or left us. 
But you are a faithful God, faithful to the end. And Lord God, I prophesy that those of us who are Moses, we work the gifts of the Spirit and we strip everything that belongs to us that's in someone else's pocket. Prophesy that some of you here would be like Joseph and you will persuade the king. You will persuade the king, persuade the queen, persuade them because they like you, they favor you, they just like you. I prophesy, some of you are like David. You'll find a headquarter, you'll shoot a rock, you shoot a word, and you'll stay at it until that thing breaks. And that system will fall to the ground, and you step over that system and take from that system the very thing that was set up to destroy you, you ricochet it back on them. I prophesy that until there's some king heads that's working against you, may God bring a situation that will unknowingly take them out the way and put you in their spot. I prophesy that Jehu would give the Jezreel that Jezebel is thrown from the top floor. Do it in love. Do it in accuracy. But just do it. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I speak this over Wallace Hayes, Renetta, Leary, Hamrick, Angel Martin, Kershaw Rowley, the, the Raspy Voice One. I just received Maxine Bingham, Pastor Sharon. I pray these same things for you. So to see, trust me to see you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. We close at eternallifetv.com. Thank you for watching the Matrix of Light Television Show. And 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock Monday through Friday. Thank you for supporting me. God bless you. Very good.